Okay, fight fans from all over the Rio Grande Valley. We're here at Tigres Boxing Gym with Esteban Ali Garza. Nickname bro again, my bad. Ali. Just Ali? Yeah, Ali. All right, all right. How are you feeling today, man? You just uh, finished training right now, right? I feel great, you know. Today was a light day. Tomorrow we're sparring, you know. It'd be, it'd be, uh, it'd be something good to come. Awesome, man. Let's go back to October 27th. You uh, you told me on and off camera that you were going to do something special. It came into fruition. Not only did you finish the guy in less than a minute, but you also got the uh, knockout of the night, which is the bonus from Divine Beauty Clinic, $1,000, man. How did it feel? It felt great, man. I don't know how it paid off. You know, I got a great team. A great team. I know I know. I'm definitely confident you, you can make it very far, you know, and it's not going to keep my happening. You have to keep treating me good, you know. Um, I don't do nothing, bro. They're the ones that need me. So, awesome, man. Let's go back to last month. You were at Ponchos doing the the press conference. You're gonna be fighting a fighter from the Laredo Corpus Christi area. Um, you guys were kind of telling each. You all were drawing each other at each other. You want to talk about what y'all were talking about? I mean, I just told him that I was I was gonna I was gonna mess him up, man. He, you know, I I think I feel like he underestimated me. me. I feel like, I mean, he fought a good fighter, Pantera Martinez, you know, from Chichen Robert Garcia. I think, I feel, I feel like he tried to take me like I'm like I'm just a kid. I know I'm 18, but honestly, like, he, he doesn't know what's coming, man. I'm training, my, I'm training my ass off. You know, I feel like I'm the biggest hitter at 108. And, I mean, this guy doesn't want to fight at 110, so he made it to 112, but I'm going to show him what I got at 112. Was it tough to get that negotiation? Nah, I mean, it's whatever, dude. You know, I, I, I mean, I just, I just scared to fight, dude. I mean, the weight's good. I don't feel super strong anyways. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm weighing, what, 116? He's probably struggling to make weight right now. That's because I'm calling the fight more. Okay. On the way. Gotcha, man. What can we expect February 24th? Expect some fireworks, man. You know, um, you guys, all you guys know how I fought, how the, the, the fucking war that I did with Chinito, by Santiago. Don't be surprised like that again, man. You know, I've, I'm 18. I know, I know I should be taking it slow, but you know, I ain't scared of nobody. No, I ain't scared of nobody, and I'm sure why in February 24. Talk about being 18 years old. You're three and zero with two knockouts. You already ranked 24th in the world. Yeah. Talk about when did you uh, when did you find out about that ranking? How did you feel when you saw it? Because well, I mean, uh, you know, my team we, we worked hard. We got the right fights, and my my weight class and that much people, so you know, it's kind of higher to get points and the rankings and everything like that. But I mean, it feels great, man. You know, I'm I'm still hungry. I want the number one spot. Awesome, man. Where can people buy tickets for your fight? I seen that you've been selling a bunch of tickets. Yeah, yeah. My uncle, my manager Jerry Garza, my uncle Vince Garza, Tigre, me. That's cool. And anybody, anybody want to buy some tickets, just come at me. I'm my best friend all the time. Talk about how Raul and your uncle Chente have helped you as a fighter, and out, inside and outside of the ring. Well, so Chente, my Vince Garza, he mean he's been like that, and I, I, I never had a like a father figure. Him and my manager Jerry Garza, and Tigre, that, that was been real close to me. That would treat me like that. Would, they tell me everything I know. My grandpa, my uncle, Tigre. I mean, you know, they tell me everything I know, and that's why I feel like I'm, I'm brave, and that's why I feel like uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mature man of my age. Gotcha, man. I never asked you this. What got you into the sport of boxing? Um, I mean, I was little. I really came back. Uh, from, we came back from Minnesota. We used to live with our dad. We came back from Minnesota. Uh, I think we we're, were, were there for a while, and then we, we saw Jer Jerry Garza and my uncle Vince Garza and my uncle's uncle, they were sparring. And me and my, me and my brothers, I have a little brother, and I'm a twin brother. We were looking at them, and we were like, we want to try that and then they started doing like little miss and i started teaching us the basics and but, you know that's how i got into it awesome man. you know um, I, I, I always want i always like to fight you know that's all i mean i feel like i'm a fighter there you go man any shout outs you want to give to anybody still before we conclude here man i'm gonna give a shout out to my team i'm gonna give a shout out to all my sponsors you are Vasquez, and you know all the people that are supporting me and everybody that always rooting for me i always appreciate it and come for every 14 you guys see your show Esteban, thank you so much thank for your you. time, bro.